Bonjour et bienvenue dans Hello and welcome to this new video. Today we are going to look at pH measurement using a pool tester. I remind you that you are between steps 3 and 4 of the water supply cycle. The pH is an acronym for potential hydrogen, a unit of measurement of acidity. On a scale of 1 to 14, it is very important to determine the pH of the water before and during the pretreatment and treatment phases. The pH level will give us an indication of the type of coagulants that can be used for pretreatment and the contact times for treatment. The easiest way to measure the pH is to use a comparator commonly called a pool tester, which you will find in the chlorination and water control kit. The pool tester is composed of three compartments. The left one allows you to measure the pH, the one we're interested in today. The right one allows you to measure the free residual chlorine, and the central compartment represents the colorimetric reference scales. A grey plastic lid and fennel red and DPD-1 reagent tablets. To order the pool tester here is the MSF logistic code. It costs 17 euros and weighs 200 grams. The first step of the pH measurement with the pool tester is to check its integrity by checking for cracks and alternation in the colorimetric scale. Then remove the cover of the pool tester and rinse the inside, including its cover three times with water to be tested. This is to ensure that all residuals from previous tests have been removed. The next step is to fill the left and middle compartments to the brim with the water to be tested. For the measurement of pH, a reagent tablet called Phenyl Red is used. Before use, make sure it's not expired by checking the expiry date on the blister pack. Open the blister and carefully place a Phenyl tablet on the small compartment on the left without touching it. If you miss the compartment, use another tablet. Caution, never use a tablet that's fallen on the floor. The next step is to close the lid of the pool tester with the arrow pointing to the colored reference scale. It is normal for some liquid to be expelled from the pool tester. The next step is to vigorously shake the pool tester until the tablet is completely dissolved. This may take 20 seconds, depending on the water temperature. Now you can read the result in natural daylight. Ideally, the reading should be taken on a white surface but you can also point the pool tester at the sky with the sun at your back. Take off your sunglasses to take the reading. All you have to do is compare the color of the left compartment with the color scale on the left side of the central compartment. Here we obtain a pH of 7.6. Do not forget to note the result on a register with the place, the date, the time, and your name. At the end of the operation, do not forget to empty the pool tester and to rinse it in order to remove the residuals of the analysis to avoid the coloration of the plastic. This will avoid any inaccuracy during the next measurement. You can find the whole procedure in Technical Sheet 2.22 in Public Health Engineering. Thank you for your attention. See you soon for new videos.